Welcome to Levin, Lesson 7 of uh, Learn C. And in this lesson, we're going to make a new program here. So I'm going to make a Lesson 7. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the whole thing. Control, um, control A. I'm in, when I'm in here, I'm going to Control A, Control C. And File, Close Project. Sure. File, New. Project, console application, lesson seven, go up, make a new folder, seven, and then I, I control A. So this is exactly the same program with the exact same comments, right? And so now, um, I just double check, I'm going to save all, yeah, and execute compile, execute run, yep, works. Okay, so, so now in lesson seven, I want to introduce this concept of loops, okay? Um, and I'm going to say instead of arrays, this is going to teach me about for loops. All right, when we look at this thing, we've we've developed this index, indexed way to scroll through a variables, right? A, a, a variable arrays. That's a pretty cool system. But but when we calculate the average, it all falls apart, and it all falls apart when we're it all falls apart when you're naming it too because you just added instead of having a b and c you have four characters for each line here and it gets more when you get more than that right um we're going to get to that eventually but this um term is problematic if we went wanted to go to 400 or, or 1000 um points and that this would be a super super long thing we need to come up with a different way of this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to comment this out and say this is the old way we calculated average. And then go down to the bottom here. Go star slash. Right? I'm going to leave it in there just so that I remind myself how the program used to do it, right? And then in here I'm going to say calculate average using a loop. What does a loop do? It just, you, you, you go from, you, you have an index, a variable that is an index. It's got, it's got to be an integer that counts, that goes one, two, three, four, five. And you, you, you can create a loop structure where the index starts at zero, you do something, then you, then it automatically increments it to one and then increments it to two and so on. Um, and so that the, the simplest way to do that loop is called um, uh, the for loop. Um, but before that, I want to I want to show you how that for loop works with a different kind of loop. So, but in order to do this, we need a couple more variables. So first, we need a thing called sum, float sum, float add, and then the last thing we need is we need an int i. Right? So then we go down here. We say um, i, we start at i is 0, i equals 0. And, and we also set sum equal to 0. And then we say while i is less than 3. What's inside the curly braces? Sum equals sum plus a sub i. And then i equals i plus 1. Wow, what is that doing, right? So let's, I'm going to walk it through, right? So we set i equal to zero. So when the first in this while loop is, is i less than three, i is equal to zero, yes. 
So then it takes sum and adds a sub 0 to it. Now sum, so the new sum equals the old sum, 0, plus 3. So a sub 0 is 3. The old sum, what we originally declared it at, is, is equal to 0. So 0 plus 3 equals 3. Now the, on the left-hand side of the equation sign is the new value of sum. And on the right-hand side of the equation is the old value of sum. So now in this first time through this curly braced loop, sum has a value of 3, and then now the old value of i is 0, you add 1 to it, and now i is uh, equal to 1. So it goes back up, it's curly brace, so it goes back up and it tests, it tests it again. i is equal to 1. Is i still less than 3? Yes. So then sum is now has a value of 3, and a sub 1 is equal to 5. So 5 plus 3, the new value of sum is 8. And then i goes, and the old value of 1 was, i was 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, the new value of i is 2, and so on. Right, so it's going to go. It's going to do zero, one, and two, and sum is going to have a running sum of of um, of all the numbers. Then all you have to do to calculate the the, the remainder part of the calculator is just say average is equal to sum divided by three. Let's see if it works. Right. Yep, still works. So that's functionally the same thing as this this other thing. Now it's way more. You know, again, Dr. Olson, man, you're just adding characters. What's going on here? Well, the um, uh, uh, this is terrible for three points. But all you'd have to do if you wanted to do three thousand points is just add three thousand there and three thousand there. And you'd of course you'd have to get three thousand points in here somehow. We're going to do that with a file eventually. But you can see that this algorithm is very scalable for, the, for an, an indiscriminately large number of points, millions and millions of them, right? That's the, um, uh, that's, why, that's the power of a loop, and that's the power of an array. Without an array, we couldn't go A, then B, then C, then D, but we can go A sub 0, A sub 1, A sub 2 with this indexing system using this variable I, this integer value I. Cool, huh? Now, um, uh, this is really, so everybody take a snapshot of this, and it's in the video. I'm, nobody ever does it this way, right? They don't use the while loop. With, instead, they use a for loop. For i equals 0, i less than 3, semicolon, i plus plus. You don't need i equals 0 anymore up here. You don't need i equals i plus 1. i plus plus, I'm going to take this out and say this is the, and I'm going to put a double slash slash in there just in case somebody wants to take out the first one. This is still a comment. This is the same as the command i plus plus. So I++ plus plus is just increment I by 1. That's what the term I++ plus plus is. So there's three commands within a for loop. Initialize the index. Give me, the, give me what the value of the index is. Is the condition as which I want that I want to exit the loop. And then the incremental. And then increment the index, I++. Plus plus. So the two smarmy things about C. One is the starting at zero thing, right? That's, they're big about that. And the second, second thing is this plus plus. The second, um, by the way, they named C the programming language because the A and B, the first two, didn't work. And so A wasn't that good, B wasn't that good. So by the time I got to C, they got a pretty good programming language. So they're kind of, you know, just counting up stuff with letters here. And then the second generation of the C programming language is called C++. So there's just an increment of C. So that's sort of another smarmy thing that uh, C programmers do. Is they use plus plus and they use and they talk about zero one and two so now the loop is even simpler right it's just you set the sum equal to zero above it for i equals zero i less than three i plus plus sum equals sum plus a sub i average equals sum divided by three that's a for loop a for loop is the same thing as a while loop 
It's just set up in this way where you, you initialize the variable and do it. It's the same as the one I just said. It's just doing it this way, the much more parsimonious way with regard to um, uh, language, uh, to syntax and number of characters and everything. Works the same. So a for loop is a real step forward in programming. Being able to loop through a, 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 a um, uh, being able to loop through an array and add up uh, the value there. Um, what what um, uh, what I want you to do as homework is put a printf statement in the for loop and watch how sum and i change throughout the loop, right? So put it in underneath, put it in above, and then see how this for loop actually works. That's it. That's lesson seven.